Hey everyone, Green Eyed Guide here. Does drinking energy drinks instead of coffee give you worse stress and sleep? One research paper says yes, but in this episode, we're gonna take a closer look at that study. Specifically, we're going to talk about what the study means to you. In other words, I'm going to give you three things that you can try to see how energy drinks might be affecting your stress and sleep. Ready? Let's go. To begin with, we should briefly discuss this research paper. The paper is called Nurses Consuming Energy Drinks Report Poorer Sleep and Higher Stress. In this study, they asked nurses about their stress levels, their sleep habits, and their caffeine intakes. Most of these nurses worked 10 hour shifts back to back to back, so you know that these people are legitimately tired. Furthermore, in this study, there was statistically a significant difference between the coffee drinkers and the energy drink drinkers. In fact, those who drank energy drinks had worse sleep and stress. But let's talk about what this means to you. To illustrate how the study works, let's go through three different questions. First of all, think back over the past week or two. On average, how well did you sleep on a scale of one to 10? one being absolutely awful, 10 being absolutely amazing. Think about how quickly you fell asleep, how many times you woke up during the night, and how you felt when you woke up. So in other words, if you got eight hours of sleep, did you feel like you got eight hours of sleep? It's not just the sleep quality, sorry, it's not just the sleep quantity that's important, it's the sleep quality. So think about your average sleep quality over the past week or two. Second, think about your average stress level over the past week or two. Obviously, there are some days that are better or worse than others, but think about on average, what was your stress level on a scale of one to 10? Again, one being awful, 10 being amazing. Think about the stress from your workload, from conflicts with a team member or a manager. Think about stress from not knowing what to do next. Think about not having clear directions. Think about all those sources of stress and rate your stress on average from one to 10. Third, I want you to think about how many cups of coffee or how many cans of energy drinks you had on an average day. Got all that? Now you have all three data points, your stress, your sleep, and your caffeine. This is a simplified explanation of how this study was done. On the Caffeine at Midnight podcast, I went into a lot more detail about the nurses in this study, but in this episode, I want to focus on you. Here are three things you should consider if you are worried about energy drinks affecting your stress and your sleep. Tip number one, watch the caffeine content. Caffeine does boost the mood because it increases the signaling of dopamine. But of course, moderation is key. In fact, it only takes about 700 milligrams of caffeine to induce panic attacks. That's two grande brewed coffees from Starbucks or two and a third cans of Bang. So moderation is key. Caffeine does make you feel better, but too much caffeine can in fact make your stress worse. So if you're worried about the effect of energy drinks on your sleep and your stress, the first and most obvious place to start is to try cutting back on the caffeine content and see if that helps. Tip number two, watch the sugar content. What ingredients could possibly be responsible for this difference between the coffee drinkers and the energy drink drinkers? We already talked about caffeine, but let's think about what else is in energy drinks. It doesn't make sense that the B vitamins made the stress and sleep worse. It doesn't make sense that this was taurine or ginseng or guarana or herba mate. None of those ingredients make sense to blame them for the difference between coffee and energy drinks. What does make sense is to look at the sugar. Specifically, the number one most common energy drink these nurses in this study reported using is original Monster Energy. That's original Monster Energy. It has about 54 grams of sugar per can. That's more sugar than the American Heart Association says you can have in one day. That's a lot of sugar. 
And in fact, there's another study that says that sugar plus caffeine can make you more tired than, sh uh, than caffeine alone. So again, that's sugar plus caffeine can make you more tired than caffeine alone. This was one of the conclusions from the paper titled Sugar Rush or Sugar, Sugar Crash, a Meta-Analysis of Carbohydrate Effects on Mood. For this reason, if you think energy drinks might be making your stress and your sleep worse, try switching to an energy drink with less sugar. Caffeine Informer has a huge list, the ultimate guide to sugar-free energy drinks. So that's a good place to start if you need some ideas of what you can try. And tip number three, remember caffeine cannot cure burnout. Excessive stress can ruin your sleep with or without caffeine. Too much stress can make you sleep very poorly. So if you're worried about the effects of energy drinks on your stress levels and your sleep, make sure you're trying other strategies that address the source of your stress. Caffeine cannot cure burnout. In fact, this is why I do the workshops that I do with the five levels of fatigue. In my workshops, I give people both caffeine recommendations and stress management tips for every level of fatigue. You can learn more about my workshops and maybe even try one for yourself at greeneyedguide.teachable.com. In the meantime, I hope this was helpful. If you have more questions about a particular energy drink, you can get a hold of me by putting comments in the YouTube video here or by emailing me at info at greeneyedguide.com. Thanks for listening. Take care.